Welcome to Navajo County Connection. I'm your host, Daryl Seymour, Supervisor for District 4. Today our guest is Ivy McCullough, RDN, with the Navajo County Public Health Department, WIC Division Manager. Welcome, Ivy. Thank you. Glad it's to have to you with us today. Absolutely. Tell us just a little bit about why you are involved with WIC and more than anything, before we get into that, tell us a little bit about who you are and mm -hmm what you enjoy and kind of your life a little bit. Absolutely, so I am an Arizona native and I have recently returned to the area. My husband retired from the military and we find N Northern Arizona as our home. Um, I was born and raised in Payson, Arizona and then I attended Arizona State University. That's a plus. Thank you. <laughs> I did my internship through Utah State University and the focus was on child nutri nutrition programs. So it fit right in with um, my interest in nutrition and families and children. And then um, I've had some time, it's, it's some experience in uh, WIC in Texas as well as overseas. That's fantastic. And, and with that, you served a little bit there, you know, through the military with your husband, you was able to travel and see a lot of different things, but you also have three children of your own, right? I do. I have a 16 year old daughter, 15 year old daughter and a 13 year old son. That's great. You know, we talk about public safety and public safety is, and public health is one of the biggest things that we, we deal with. And one of the things that, you know, we have a program out there and it's the WIC program. You're going to give us the acronym of what that, that stands for and, and the funds part of that, but kind of explain what the WIC program is and how it's helpful to our residents here in our community. Okay. The Arizona Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants and Children provides um, nutrition education, breastfeeding support, nutritious foods, and referrals to health care or uh, community resources to our community. So we're a, a great resource and link for our families to improve their health. Now, what are some of the things that people are able to get, uh, you know, with the WIC program? What are some of the, the food supplements and some of the things, that, and why are those things so important to a family? So the, the food package, the supplemental food package goes along with our nutrition information and education tips that we provide. And some of the things are milk, cheese, eggs, bread, cereal, fresh fruits and vegetables, fruit juice, as well as um, infant formula and baby foods. Okay. So some of those things are, are very crucial for a child and also for, you know, children who are just starting to mature and grow and the brain food that they need in early ages and all of those vitamins and minerals that they have. And a lot of times people are just having a hard time making it. And so this program supplements some of the food programs they may have or food assistance, but it really gives some of those essential things that they, they may need. That's exactly correct. Back when WIC was established in the 70s, the, the food package was designed to meet certain key nutrients and supplement those in the family's typical diet. So each of those items that is received has a purpose. and. It's, um... <laughs> what made you be part of the WIT program? I mean, what, what did you find that said, okay, you've got your degree, you have the things there, but what made you choose WIC? Or did WIC choose you? I always say that WIC found me. Okay. Um, as I moved around with my husband, a lot of times he, we were in remote locations. And so um, WIC always provided me with an opportunity to continue to um, 
provide the message of nutritious foods and healthful living to young families. And I enjoy working with moms, babies, young families, or care caregivers of other um, infants and children. Okay. I think one of the, the things that's important with WIC, there's some education and some help to, to help a new mother, to help a new mother when she has that child that is born the first time. And, and I think a big part of uh, the bonding that takes place between a mother and some of the nutrients and some of the things they have come through breastfeeding. And that's one of the things that I think WIC is important in, in educating and helping and assisting uh, some of the women along those lines. You want to explain a little bit more how that works? Absolutely. We spend a lot of time promoting breastfeeding and talking with our moms and encouraging them to choose breastfeeding first if they're able, providing the information and support that they may need. Some families, they have maybe never experienced um, a breastfeeding mom in their family, so they don't have a good role model. And we try to bridge that gap and give them the information that they may need to make that decision on how they'll feed their babies. Okay. You know, I just recently with the pandemic, I'm hearing that one of the things that a shortage is happening is formula, baby formula, and some of the things there. So I could see how that would definitely play into the role of somebody who's planning to have a child or or need some of that assistance and has never either done this before or something. But, but I, I want to applaud that you guys received an award from the state this year uh, or this past year. What, what was that for? We received the breastfeeding award from our state office that was uh, based on the number of participants that initiated breastfeeding and uh, were breastfeeding moms in our area. And well, we were compared to other agencies, other local WIC agencies of the same size. And last year we were um, highest in our numbers for breastfeeding moms. That's fantastic. So is it something you guys went out and worked on? Education said we're going to improve from this year to this year. Is it just happened? I mean, how many people do you have in your organization that's assisting and helping you? There's myself and five others that work towards um, education for breastfeeding and, and nutrition tips. And we do have a plan every year to increase our numbers in, uh, for example, breastfeeding. So we tend to go out to the community and talk with the providers, the healthcare providers, and promote our program as well as uh, educate the moms that are reaching out to us okay. and offer them the support they need to make that decision to breastfeed. One of our programs, and it's really neat because of technology, we are able to connect moms with breastfeeding peer counselors that may not even live in this local area. So we tap into the resources of our larger metropolitan area and um, these moms can um, reach out to them for questions and help, or they will contact them on a, oh, pretty regular basis to see how they're doing and, and continue our message. So through technology, we're able to do that, and it's amazing. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, one of the things that you know, we look at, people say, you know, how do I apply or how do I, you know, become available to receive these products or to receive the, the, the things that you mentioned earlier, the milk and the supplements and the cheese and, and some mm -hmm. of those things. How does a person go about finding out if they would, would qualify? So if you are eligible, you would be a woman who is either pregnant, breastfeeding or postpartum or a infant or a child under five. And you would be able to reach out through our website, our azwic.gov website to find the income eligibility criteria. And then at that point, you can also use the search tool to find an office closest to your home. We have several offices in Navajo County that we are willing to um, take your call and do a pre-certification screening and find out if you're eligible. 
Now, some families will automatically qualify if they are eligible for some other government programs, and that makes the process quite simple. And if you don't, we can also take into account who is in your household, your household size, and how, how much gross income you make on a regular basis. So we're looking at this current snapshot in time. And so we take the income documents from the last 30 days and compare them to our income eligibility guidelines. So that way we kind of reach um, some of the families in the middle. Right. Maybe they don't quite qualify for some of those government assistance programs, um, but they may qualify for WIC. Mm -hmm. And you, you don't have to be just a mom. We talk a lot right. about moms and babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's sometimes there's grandparents uh, end up uh, raising a child or, or other, other things happen that, that necessitate that somebody has to care for someone else. Exactly. So we would recommend those people reach out to us and explain their situation and we can do the pre-certification over the phone and um, screen them for eligibility. Do you have any idea of like the numbers of people who currently are, are on assist, WIC, WIC assistance here in our, in our county or area here? Here in our county, we serve an average of 1,700 clients per month. Wow. So it is a significant amount in our rural area, and it does provide a lot of benefits to these families, and it gives them a boost when their family's young. Right. And so, when they have it, it just works. Uh, they're able to just go and, and have a, a coupon or something that they give to the grocery store, or do they actually get, you know, how does that work? That's it. It's, it's actually electronic and a card okay. now, which has come a long way. It used to be that you would go to the store with your printed checks and present them to the cashier, and everything had to be perfect in quantity, and you'd have to get everything listed, and now we have our EBT, our, I'm sorry, our eWIC card. So it's like a debit card that you swipe at the terminal and it would just automatically deduct the items that are WIC approved that are on your benefits and then you would continue to pay for the rest of your transaction. So it's, it's really neat, it's streamlined, it makes it more wow. personable and um, at the store, no one else would probably know the difference between the way you pay for your normal items and the way you pay for WIC. That's fantastic, you know, and that's one of the things, nobody wants to feel like they're just, you know, on something, but it helps people and it makes mm -hmm. a difference. And, you know, I'm sure that's why one of the reasons that you're doing this. And, you know, to share with us uh, what makes your day of being awake, working and, tireless and the effort, you're a mom, you have children, you've gone through all of this here, but what are some of those things that are a reward for you? I like in the community setting, you tend to work with families um, and see them over and over, and they will come back to us and tell us how much we have helped them or if we were able to um, solve a problem or offer um, helpful tips that help their family to, to find a solution. And just that day-to-day -day, um, personal interaction with, with the people that come into the office is very rewarding. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, Ivy, I appreciate you sharing with us uh, the information that you have today and how important it is. If you want to just repeat that website again, how people can go and find out some more information, I'd appreciate it. Absolutely. It's azwic.gov. And then you could also find our local information at the Navajo County AZ.gov website. Okay. Well, do you have any questions for me? I can't think of any, but I enjoyed finding out that you have 30 grandchildren. <laughs> well, they're all over the place and they keep us busy. And, you know, it's interesting to watch as our children have grown and the, the option and the things of, 
of how parents uh, you know, raise their children, teach their children. But I think the main focus that we all have is how we nutritionally value our children and what we can do to see that they're getting the right help, the right mm -hmm. uh, foods that they need. And, and one of the things at Navajo County is we hope that none of our children, especially starting out young at age, would be deprived of some of these main necessities that they need to be able to grow their minds and to grow their bodies so that they can be strong and great productive citizens. And so thank you for what you do. Thank you and so much. And the people in your organization. We really appreciate it. And appreciate getting to know you a little better today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for being with us this afternoon on Navajo County Connection. And if you have any questions, again, contact us here at Navajo County. Thanks and have a great day.